Hi guys, in today's video, I'm super excited to share update three of our house renovation. So this has been by far my most requested video. I'm sorry I've kept you waiting so long. All the preparation works take so long. And to be honest, I didn't want to share a video where nothing really looked any different. Instead, in today's video, you're going to notice some massive changes since the last video. If you haven't seen the second update yet, I'll link to it in the top corner of this video. Go and check that one out first and then come back here. So as always, I've recorded some footage. I'm going to give you a full walkthrough of the house now and the state it's currently in. So just to give you a bit of perspective where exactly we are in the house, that white hinge you can see on the left hand side is the front door. So right at the front of the house we have a downstairs WC which was really helpful and it was one of our big ones. The first thing you may notice is that round window has been replaced. That is the window I mentioned in the previous video that we were being quoted some serious figures up to £1,800 to replace that one window because it actually had to be custom made. Luckily we found a company that weren't charging that much. You can also just about make out the other window that we had replaced around our soap bottles and sugar soap. That window, however, was a nice, easy and thankfully cheap window to replace. The walls we have started strip. We haven't quite finished this room because the reason being is we're actually leaving this room right till the very end. The idea behind that is we've always got an old tatty bathroom that we can use, the tradespeople can use. The plan will be once the rest of the house is completed, we'll then concentrate on this one room. We probably will end up paying just to have this whole room plastered as it's not in great condition overall. The final thing you'll notice in there which we have seen before is we've got our new central heating and our nice new shiny radiator in there. So this was another big wish of ours as we had previously had a downstairs WC similar to this at the front of the house and it was freezing cold because we didn't have a radiator in there. Big mistake. So as we swing round the front door is directly behind me and this is sort of a mini entrance hall and then turning completely 180 from the bathroom you'll see our downstairs living space. Now straight away you're going to see some massive changes from the last update which I'm so excited to show you. So lots to speak about already. First of all, you will notice that the wall is out, of course. We'll speak more about that in just a second. But the main thing I'm gonna draw your eye to at the moment is the doorway into the stairs is now studded up. Again, let's move into the room and we'll speak more about that in just a second. So another big change, the chimney is now out. We had to have a gallows bracket put in, which is a shame. It's not ideal to have that sticking out at the top between the wall and the ceiling, but it was part of the sort of building regs to be allowed to have that works done. We found out later on that this could have been hidden up in the, in the box above, but it was just a whole nother amount of work and obviously more cost. I don't know if you'll agree, but it's amazing to me just how much lighter the room is now that we've had the wall taken out and we're now benefiting from the light from all three of the windows around us. Maybe at this point in the video, I'll drop in some footage of what the lounge used to look like. And it was quite a dark sort of almost long tunnel. It just feels like such a nice open living space now, which we're really looking forward to enjoying. So spinning around here, it'll give you a much better view of the back of the house now where the wall has been taken out. You'll also notice the old kitchen back door has now been removed and that has been all bricked up. I'll drop a picture in now of what the back door from outside looks like. The bricky has come in and done a great job. You can just about see the slight difference in tones in the brick, of course. And he did also let us know that the cement will go off more and match up much better. The steel that was put in when the wall was taken out has now been boxed in by our carpenter and this is all ready to be plastered which is the next big thing that is due to happen. So our plasterer is due in on Friday to start work on the property. You can see that all of downstairs needs replastering, it's in a right old mess. Everyone keeps telling us that the plaster is going to make it feel like a whole new house so I'm so excited to see it once he's finished his work. The window in the old kitchen has also been replaced as obviously that originally was a door and then a double window rather than a triple window. So moving around more into the lounge area you'll see where the carpenter studied up that door. This now is going to be the space where we have our television. Before we were slightly struggling with ideas of where everything would go because there was a door right there and a door on your left. So it was causing us problems of exactly exact positionings of sofas and televisions without blocking entrances. So now we're moving to the new entrance hall to the stairs. This, to be honest, was my biggest concern of the house overall. I was really worried about this space being a really dark, dingy space. The video actually probably makes it look darker than it actually is in real life because the camera is exposing for the kitchen area and not the hallway. I think for the compromise of having the dark sort of stairway, we gain so much by having a nice large open plan lounge instead. So of course the stairway is definitely darker, there's no doubt about it because we don't have that lounge door letting the light through. However, I do still believe it is lighter than I thought it was gonna be, 
Bear in mind that at the moment the walls are quite dark anyway and there's lots of dark tones and dark woods with the brick as well. So I think once we paint this all up white and get maybe some mirrors on the wall, it's going to be okay, you know. It's not going to be the brightest stairway ever, but again, I just think it adds so much more to the downstairs. Personally, I'm really happy we did it. And then finally, reaching upstairs, you can see some more of the building works going on. Obviously, all the electrics have now been completely chased out and ready to go. We move into one of our spare bedrooms. This one's going to be Katie's office. You can see that we've started preparing the walls ready for decoration. We haven't quite finished this, and at the moment it has become a bit of a storeroom while we're doing works around the house. You will also now get a glimpse of that window between my office and the stairway which has now been studied up. We'll talk about that in just a second. We've decided to have the doors all opening the opposite way. So before the door in this room opened towards the window so it was blocking light going through into that hallway if that makes sense. By having the door opening towards the, the wall instead it allows that when we have the door open for the light to get through and go beaming into those stairs. So now we're going to head out onto the hallway. Here is the bathroom. Again the camera's just adjusting for exposure at the moment but now I've completely stripped the bathroom uh, all the flooring's up the old heating systems up which is that hole in the floor all the tiles are up there's some old pipes that um, our plumber is currently sorting out but overall it's all ready to go basically the wet on the floor don't worry it's not a leak we are actually washing the walls the day that I did this filming you can see there the pipes ready for the towel rail which will be going in that position. We have actually decided on one of these baths where it has a wider sort of shower end if that makes sense. So the plumber had to move one of those pipes over a bit to allow for the uh, bigger bath. Next up back out into the hallway you'll see first of all the damage that was caused by knocking the cupboards out. Katie blames me for this and she's probably right to be honest but we had to smash the cupboards out and ultimately it did some damage. The plasterer is going to be sorting this out when he starts this week. So on to this window in the hallway. Maybe I'll put in a clip now of what the window did look like. This window, I suppose, was there to bring some light through into the stairway, which I understand. But we just decided we didn't like it overall. And where that was in the room, we are probably going to end up having maybe cupboards there or something else. We didn't really want just an old window sitting there. It just looked a bit odd. So we're now in my office room. There is where the old cupboards were, which used to hold the old uh, hot water tank. You can also see there the other side of the window, which has been studied up. This room obviously has quite a lot of work to do, plastering-wise especially down to the damage I caused taking the cupboards out. And then finally we move into the master which now looks much smaller because it is absolutely full to the brim of our junk. So I'm sorry about this, this room usually looks much brighter and much nicer. To be honest with you, it's all our stuff while we're doing the decorating and uh, slowly we're going to start spreading that around and hopefully start painting very soon. So over the next few weeks, as I've already mentioned, we've got the plasterer starting. We've also got an appointment book with the kitchen designer to start confirming our final design for the kitchen. We're still to and fro with colours, and that is something I'll probably update you on in the next update. So make sure you hit subscribe if you want to know. Once the plastering is done, the carpenter is also going to get the floorboards fixed. He is who is going to also be fitting the kitchen for us, and the plumber will be coming in to get the bathroom fitted for us. I plan on doing a sort of budget update soon of how much we are spending on the refurbishment. So if you're interested in hearing about that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you would like to see the next update, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I hope that you enjoyed our refurbishment video. It's coming along slowly. It's getting there. We're starting to get really excited now to get in there. And I hope to see you on another video very soon. Take care, guys.